Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video today. Uh, this is going to be a video for the FIFA 19 wishlist. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this video really short because when I start talking about these things, I get super into it because of... I think it's just like built frustrations for me because I've already tried to make this video just right now like three different times and I just like... And the way that I see it is that I just go in on EA, right? Because I think that the type of quality of game that EA provides for us is in my opinion, an absolute joke, and it needs to be fixed. I'm going to try to make the short, the points short and precise. I don't want to go into too much detail because I talk about this stuff all the time, and I don't want to make this video super long. So if there's specific aspects that you notice that's missing from what I'm talking about, just again, realize that I'm not talking about everything because this, this video would literally be a two-hour podcast of how bad of a game FIFA really is for a video game person who just wants to go go home and look forward to playing a video game, okay? We're just going to get precise and to the point. I'm not going to go into detail because if I do, it's going to be really long. The gameplay needs to be fixed, okay? We cannot hop on the game and the gameplay feels different all the time. This game literally has five to eight different types of gameplay. Delay that's slow, slow with, uh, with uh, good reaction time. Like, I can go on with it. I'm not going to get into detail. EA needs to fix this. This has been a thing for FIFA for as long as we can remember. It's been in this game for years, okay? I used to complain back, uh, back about it in FIFA 15. I used to complain about it in FIFA 14 when I didn't stream, but in FIFA 15 when I did stream, I used to tell people all the time, this is definitely a thing in this game. And people never really used to talk about it back in the day, but I 110% pe told people, this is a thing in FIFA. Playing at nighttime is better than daytime. I digress. They need to fix the gameplay. The inconsistencies, they need to stop, Okay. We need to have a game that every day we go on, it feels good, and it always feels good. Every single day we hop on, it feels the exact same. We know exactly exactly what to expect from it, and go from there. 1v1 finishing, they need to, they need to bring out a tutorial or something, because when I get inside of the box and I'm in the middle area, and when I take this same exact shot, and it ends up being different results, sometimes I do driven shots, and it doesn't do a driven shot, okay? EA needs to do, explain or fix that because it's incredibly frustrating, right? So gameplay and consistencies need to be fixed. I don't care about what game mechanics EA add into their game that's new and improved. I honestly don't care because the game needs to feel the same every single time I hop on the game. That is the first and most important thing that EA needs to fix for next year. I don't care about your new game mechanics. Fix the inconsistency with the game. I want it to feel good all the time. If you want to bring me to the studios and I play 20, 12 hours a day for you and I tell you that it feels good and bad, I would more than happy be able to do that for you guys, okay? More than happy. I do not tell people that the gameplay is good all of a sudden because I'm winning my games because I get incredibly pissed off when my gameplay sucks even if I'm winning my game 5-0 because it needs to feel good as I'm playing it. I don't want to play a game that doesn't feel like it's in my control. Okay, gameplay content. Your gameplay content is incredibly, uh, incredibly under, like, I don't even know the word to explain it. It's just, it's, it's not spread out properly, okay? Foot champs for 40 games over the course of three days, which is your only gameplay content for competitive FIFA, is a really, really dumb concept. That is not fun to do at all, to play 40 games every single weekend to get your only gameplay content in the game. That just should not happen, okay? Is it, are the cards cool and stuff? Yes. Is it worth the stress? No, absolutely not because this game is completely revolved around winning and completely revolved around meta, right? The game needs to be fun, okay? You have your contents completely spread out wrong. Even if we do well in foot champs, I do well in foot champs. I get at least elite one and elite one rewards. They give you two team of the week packs. I think a hundred K pack and then a mega pack or I can't remember exactly what it gives you, but it gives you really good rewards, right? Even with the rewards that you give me, it's not worth the stress that you have to put yourself through because those rewards are not going to anything, right? Because division one really sucks. Playing it over and over again only to get 15K is incredibly boring, okay? It's not fun to do. In Division 1, you find better players in Division 1 than you do in Foot Champs because it's Division 1. That's the only one division. In Foot Champs, you can be facing people from Division 5, right? Like, you don't know. It's just people who qualified for Foot Champs, right? They need to fix or revamp divisions entirely and revamp Foot Draft entirely. 
divisions need to be fixed. Foot drafts. Foot drafts. You can. There's like a plethora of things that they could do at foot drafts in in terms of challenges. Um, just just adding challenges to foot drafts. Winning the draft ten times. Winning the draft twenty times. Uh, scoring a certain amount of goals with players just so that it's, it doesn't completely revolve around winning it. Just having fun with the game, right? Where you have to revolve your game around, like, if you win in, or lose, at least you have fun playing it. When you lose in this game, losing gives you nothing in this game, right? And obviously, it doesn't give you much in any game. But, like, if you have a concept, right, like the World Cup game mode of 2014, and you have a concept where... Every single game you play, you give us a player. It doesn't matter if the, game, if the player sucks. As long as you're giving us a player, you make us feel like, hey, every game I'm playing, I'm, I'm working towards something. Even if someone loses, they're still getting 500 coins. So if they play 12 to 13 more games, they can open a world... I'm talking about the exact same concept of the FIFA 14 World Cup mode. You open a pack, boom, you actually get this feeling of, hey, even though I'm losing my games, I'm still collecting players from the packs that I'm getting. You have a beautiful concept where, where EA makes money and we have fun, right? We get to play the game and try to build up our squads by opening packs and getting excited. Holy crap, I just I just pulled uh, Rehad Mares. Oh, oh my God, I just pulled, I don't know if Mares would be in the world, I don't know if Algeria are in the World Cup. But like, oh my God, I just packed like, uh, even, even getting a player like Chris Smalling should be exciting because of the, like if you had the World Cup mode, someone like Chris Smalling would be so sick in your team. And the best thing ever is no icons in that mode. It would just be World Cup players. Why don't you just create a concept like that every single year, but make it for the Champions League? I understand that they don't have the Champions League license, but they can just make a concept similar to the Champions League, right? Or revolve it around the Champions League, but does, just don't put the license in it. People telling me, oh, they can't do that because of the license. They do that with the team of the group stage cards anyways. They can work around it and call it the group stage cup or something, right? And then just have play the teams from Basel, Befica, Sporting, Porto, Chelsea, Barcelona, Real Madrid. Even if it's the reserves, because they bring 25 players or, or, or so. Each team, they bring like 25 or 23 players. I think it's 23 players. Even if I get the 67, 70 rated players, I'm still collecting those players for each team. So it gives you a really fun concept there of that game mode, right? Okay, so Division 1, no point in playing it. Playing Foot Champs, no point in playing it because Division 1 gives you nothing. Foot Draft, same exact thing. Dude, do you know how many times, guys? I have a record of 370-something wins or 360-something wins and 20-something losses in draft. And I'm telling you guys this right now, the rewards are so terrible that it's not worth playing that game mode at all if you're thinking about a reward concept, okay? There's no building process to drafts. It's just, hey, if you win, you'll get these rewards, but they're most likely going to be terrible. Even if right now I were to get a 400k player in a pack, it still wouldn't be worth it because of all the times I just lost money and wasted my time playing it, right? So with draft, they need to be, it needs to be fixed. Squad battles, I don't mind that you guys put squad battles. I personally don't play because I don't want to play against AI. And I, and I feel like a lot of people don't want to play against AI. But a lot of people do want to play against AI. They want to have fun and chill and just play against squad battles. Which is completely fine to me. I completely understand. But your concept of giving better rewards for people who play squad battles to people winning Division 1, I, I, I just don't think that's right. I don't, I don't think that it's right that if you play... On the difficult, you can literally play on world class difficulty, play all the games, you will get way better rewards than you'll get for winning Division One. That concept just doesn't really make much sense to me, okay? So you need to revamp Division One and foot drafts. Um, this video is already like nine minutes long. I don't want to get too into it, guys, because it makes me mad how much stuff they can do with FIFA. Like, dude, even if they add like a ultimate team version for FIFA Street, we, I would never give a shit about losing. Just don't put records, just have fun with the game, you know? Uh, create tournament concepts where if you win, you, you progress through the tournament exactly like the World Cup. But if you lose, hey, no record. You just go back, you restart, and you have fun again, right? They, they need to focus on making this game fun again because they've lost the fun factor ever since that they added foot champs. Because the weekdays, there's literally nothing to do in this game because everything sucks. Division 1 sucks, foot draft sucks, and replaying foot champs sucks as well. I just want the game to be changed. I want it to be better. 
I want to be able to enjoy it every single day I hop on, not think about as a, even as a content creator, like what am I going to do today? Because I literally have no idea. Like if I play Call of Duty, they have different game modes. I can collect different types of skins. I can use different guns and for good, even if the gun is crappier than other guns, at least I'm getting stuff for that crappy gun. Like it, the same thing can be used with FIFA. Like do a set challenge or something or, or have set players need challenge. Like, hey, we're going to put Isco, Carvajal and uh, Neymar in a team and you have to make a team around that and win division one with it and we give you this. Like they have to create or, you know, score this many goals with that, with a team like this. Or I don't know, like th there's so many things that they can do with FIFA, guys. It's incredibly frustrating. They don't have, they don't have fun with this game. I'm the type of guy... I try to be positive towards this game. I try not to be a negative uh, person. But EA really screws us over every single year because they basically recycle the game every year. Your inclusion of squad battles has not changed from what this game was last year to what this game was this year. We complained about content last year and you guys did nothing about that this year for the weekdays. People have grown tired earlier into the year. Team of the year barely has any hype. Like a, like when I say barely guys, please take into account when it used to be FIFA 15. FIFA 15 team of the year and team of the season hype was insane, okay? It was insane. But as your game progresses and as it grows because you are the company that makes the most money you need to improve your game, okay? You need to improve your servers because the gameplay is inconsistent. You need to improve your gameplay content because this is a sports game. You know how you know how many things you can do with a sports game? Make it so we use bronze players. Make it so we use silver players. Make it so we use gold players. Like, make the game fun, you know? Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I... I know this is gonna come off, come up, come off as like a rant, but like, dudes, it's so incredibly frustrating that this happens every year. We're in like February or March. The game is just dead because people are so tired of like they're just exhausted of how they make this game. Like forty games every weekend, and then after the forty games every weekend, there's nothing to do during the weekdays. It, they need to, they need to fix it. And God forbid the gameplay, please, man. I just want to play in good gameplay all the time. Please, EA, please. Every single year, the exact same things happens all the time. That's it, guys. That's going to be it for the video today. If you guys did enjoy it, please drop a thumbs up on it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!